Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Arctic Academy Virtual Classroom. So today we are going to learn about ready mix concrete. This can come as a question in your exam. Write a short note on ready mix concrete. So you can take down notes while viewing this lecture and prepare for your exam. So let us see what is meant by ready mix, ready mix concrete. So ready mix concrete is different from cast in situ concrete in the sense that cast in situ concrete is made on the site while as ready mix concrete is manufactured under controlled conditions in a factory or a plant. Because the concrete is manufactured under controlled conditions, it has got a certain advantages over the cast in situ concrete. Now, how is this concrete transported to the site? Since this concrete is made in a factory which is situated away from the site, we require to transport the concrete to the site. So this ready mix concrete is transported in a special type of truck which has a rotating drum called as a mixer in which the concrete is placed. The drum continuously rotates to prevent the concrete from hardening. So in the picture you can see this type of a truck which is called as a transit mixer. So the concrete is transported to the site by this type of a truck called as a transit mixer. Now what are the advantages of using ready mix concrete over the standard cast in situ method of concrete? So the first most important advantage is the assurance of quality of materials. Since the concrete is manufactured in a factory and it is done under controlled conditions, you are assured of the quality of materials which is cement, aggregate and any type of chemicals or admixtures which are added to the concrete. Second advantage is the assurance of strength of the concrete. So the manufacturer of the ready mix concrete issues a certificate stating the strength of the concrete like M20, M25, M30 and so on. So one is assured about the strength of the concrete which is arriving on the site. Third point is the reduction in storage space for cement, sand, aggregate on the site. So when you are preparing cast in situ concrete, all the materials required for making the concrete have to be stored on the site and large amount of space is required for storing this material. So all this space is reduced when we use RMC. The next point is the reduced wastage of materials. Obviously when this material is dumped on site in case of in situ concrete, there is going to be a wastage of material. So this is reduced in case of RMC. Next point is reduced pilferage. Pilferage means stealing of material from the site. So you will see that costly materials such as cement many times can be stolen from the site. When we are going to use RMC this will prevent any pilferage. Next point is reduced noise and air pollution. So you know that when cast in situ concrete is done the mixer is continuously running on the site which is a diesel powered mixer and there is also a lot of labor who is also making noise and the other instruments which are used they are also making the noise so there is a lot of noise created on the site uh, on the site and the dust particles coming out from cement and the cyan aggregate they also cause pollution in the air next is because of the quality of the concrete the building will have a longer life and will be more durable Next advantage is that because this concrete is done with the way batching system and under controlled condition, the amount of cement required for RMC will be less than that required for in situ concrete. Now there are some limitations to ready mix concrete. So what are they? So the first and most important limitation is the access to the site. We already know that the concrete 
that is the RMC has to be transported from the manufacturing plant to the site. Whenever the site is located far away or when the access is by a very narrow road, in such a case, the concrete, there is a problem uh, as far as access to the site is concerned. So that is why this is one of the limiting factors for ready-mixed concrete. Next is the distance from production plant to the site. So it is important that we understand how far away the site is from the production plant. The concrete when it is manufactured has to be used within a certain time. Otherwise the concrete will start setting. And therefore the distance from the site to the production plant is a limiting factor in case of RMC. Next point is there has to be proper coordination between the site engineer and supplier which means that all the necessary infrastructure on the site has to be ready before the RMC in comes on the site and the concreting starts. So that is why it is important to have good coordination. Next is possibility of shrinkage cracks. So because the RMC uses fly ash, there is a possibility that if it is not properly cured, the ready mix concrete will develop shrinkage cracks. Lastly, the ready mix concrete might be slightly costlier than in situ concrete in most of the cases. But nowadays with mass scale production, the difference between the cost of in situ concrete and ready mix concrete has come down considerably. Now next question is why is the retarder added to ready mix concrete? So we have already seen that when the RMC is prepared on the site uh, on the in the plant and it has to be transported to the site, there is a time lag, and this time lag has to be taken into consideration when we are thinking of RMC. So ready mix concrete once manufactured has to be used within 30 to 45 minutes from the time of manufacture. But sometimes the site is far away from the mixing plant and it may take much more time than 30 to 45 minutes. So in such a case, it is important to add a special type of chemical in the concrete, which is called as a retarder. And this retarder is added to delay the setting time of the concrete. Now how is ready mix concrete placed on the site? So there are different methods of placing the concrete or RMC on the site. First is called as the pumping method in which the concrete pumps are used and the pipes are connected to the pumps and the concrete is pumped from a lower level to a higher level and placed on the site. Second method is that the buckets which are having a facility to open at the bottom when required, they are hoisted by the crane as is being shown in this photograph and the concrete is taken up by the crane and placed in the required position. The third method is to use concrete shoots. So here you can see in this photograph the shoots which is required for which is used for the concrete. So long type of shoots can be used for taking or transporting the concrete from the mixer to the required position on the site. So these are different methods of placing concrete in the required position on the site. So I hope this lecture was useful to you and you can write a short note on what is ready mix concrete. If you have liked this video, give us a like and also share the video with friends. Please subscribe to our channel to get more such videos. If you have any queries, write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you.